gain strength. Gain strength. <laughs> That's what they start with after 20 days. Like, I mean, you can gain strength, like, from the start because of course. you do your first workout. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another video. And today is a new day, and summer is almost here. But things are pretty getting hot around here, so we're still here. I'm still here, anyways. The fans on, AC's on, but still. We're doing our work and today we're going to react to brownie shorts, uh, brownie video again. This happens uh, when you do 100 push-ups every day. Those athletes who do 100 push-ups, I normally don't do them anymore, but I used to do them at the start of the calisthenics. So this is just going to let us know what happens to your body when you do 100 push-ups every day. So let's get it. You see the Wonder Push Today transformations all over the internet, but let's see what really happens to your body during a challenge like this. Mm. After one day unfinished task, at first you won't okay. be able to do 100 push-ups in one, in one go. I don't think a lot of people in the world no. can do a one push uh, No, yeah, hardly, say, I hardly uh, did 10 push-ups a day. Probably like 2%? Less? Less? After one yep. day itchy skin. Uh, itchy okay. skin? I don't know if it's itchy. I would say it's what more just like you're feeling skin? your muscles. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It's soreness. Soreness, yeah. Soreness, soreness starts pain. after two days no. before elbow pain. That's definitely That's not, not true. It takes like three to four to even but seven days before it really push starts hurting. Lower back pain? pain? Nah, 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 Lower nah, back nah, pain, pain. Lower days. back pain after three days? There are probably people that had this, but it's not something general you can assume, like... Whoa, whoa! Muscular you start with muscular imbalance? Already? Oh, three days. That is not you how don't, You didn't even, you will you not didn't have even build muscle, muscle in three days. three days. That would probably take like a year of full training to, to notice, yeah. notice a real muscular imbalance, imbalance and being like, yo, guy, you should probably try a leg day. Let's hope this video has some, some good stuff. Because two million people were trying to learn from this. Overtrain after four days. Overtrain. I would agree. I would say I yes, would agree. Try, yeah. That's true. Wrist pain. Wrist yes. pain. Yeah, Lots wrist pain is a common thing in push-ups. That always happens during a push-up challenge. Don't, yeah. don't forget to no switch. Immune system. Exercising in general is good for your immune system. Yes. Not yeah, sure it's good for your immune system seven, as well. But... Hmm. Changes. I think that's Changes. true. I don't think I'm you have like body size, insane chest course. muscles or arms, but I think so you, you start to well. feel like, oh, there are some muscles here active. After 15 days, you can definitely have a better core. Reaction time. Ooh, we okay. have, oh, we have never tested reaction time. No. We're just going to throw a reaction. tennis ball at your at your head and you just got to catch it as fast as possible. But wait, what does um, it, <laughs> After 20 days, gain strength. Gain strength. <laughs> that, that's what they start with after 20 days. Like, I mean, you can gain strength like from the start because of you do your first workout. Love the music. Yeah, let's get that a nice vibe, dude. Protect your shoulders from injuries. The challenge could also work the oh. other way and actually injure your shoulders because it's overtraining the same muscles. Oh, Don't forget to like the video, by the way. This video does all the, all the YouTube job for us. <sighs> muscle strengthening. Of course, yeah. gaining strength. <laughs> Oh no, it's muscle stretching. Oh, <laughs> I was like, you just said that. But for the bicep, Nah. Maybe it's underrated that it is bike. actually a good stretch. Yeah, you will grow muscles with this challenge. We've seen it with everyone who tried this challenge. If you just eat a good, eat, yeah. eat, eat, eat. Yes, posture. Muscles no, 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 no. It's the exact opposite. If most people have the, the forward rolled sho shoulder, so mm -hmm. I don't think it's uh, helping the posture. Because of everything behind sitting behind a desk, of course. So, uh, you need to open up. Actually, I think pull-ups will be better. Face pulls. <laughs> I love this one. I actually okay. think that lifestyle right is side. the most underrated one. Why? Mm. Because doing 100 pushes or 200 pushes every single day is changing people's life. Not because of the push. Just the bad the discipline to do something. Binging the <laughs> first after pay and then after day three. 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 Dead end. No oh, cost. Whoa. Dead whoa. end. Whoa. whoa, what? Reed, you, you won't, won't gain, gain any additional, additional muscle. muscle. As your body has gotten used to the workout. No, that's not true. That's 100% true. It's not true because your not. weight is also you gaining. You if you, you want to know more about this, you can so check out the longer videos. What you do is going to have more weight. Let's do 100 push as fast as Unless you're at the same weight. Okay, but let's go. Let's go downstairs. We're gonna see who can do 100 push-ups the fastest. Let's you, see who wins. We got a timer fatigue. right here. And we're gonna start in three. Okay. Two. 100 push-ups. One. Go. All right. How many do you need? 80, okay. 100, right? 20 left. I have 20 left as well. <sighs> okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> the blue shirt guy is Obviously the winning guy in Done this channel. Uh, it took me one minute and 17 so. seconds to complete 100 push-ups and it took you three seconds longer. So you smashed it. But the 100 push-ups a day challenge is a great way to shock your body. But if you want to see yep. some shocking workout fills, make sure to uh, check out this video next.
And by the way, when I started my calisthenics journey, I used to do push-ups a lot, like 200, 300, 400, 500. But I used to do that after a year. After one year, I used to do 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. But the one year which went, I kept on doing 50, 30, 50, 30, not more than that. And I really have a good physique. When I did those push-ups, I, I had the broad and shoulders up, the chest as well, the bicep tricep were almost seen already. And I had forearm muscles as well. So yeah, it's a good effective si uh, exercise and you don't need gym when you're starting those clinics. You can just do push-ups right in your room. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, train safe. And I hope you do your push-ups because they're good for the tendons and for the punch. Bye.